Hey all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for July 19th, 2018. The character is the defect and the modifiers are shiny. Starting deck is replaced with one of every rare card. Big game hunter, elite enemies are now swarming the spire and drop better loot. Um, and terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP. You start each combat with five plated armor. So uh, let's see what all the rare cards are. All right. So um, here, I think a couple things to note is that we don't have any any energy generation. So the uh, where's the meteor strike? Wait, I thought meteor strike was a rare card. I must have mislooked. I, mean, I thought meteor strike was a rare card. Never mind. Oh, there, there here it is. I must have missed it. Anyway, so yeah, this is something that we want to remove as early as we can, because I don't think that is going to be playable pretty much ever. Um, now, thanks to Echo Form and Creative AI, this might become a power build, um, but Electrodynamics might make it a um, sort of orb build, or Hyper Beam might just make it plain damage build. So we'll, we'll just see uh, what sort of cards we get. Hey all, happier from the future here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to upload this in time, so instead I'm gonna post it sped up 20x and with some voiceover commentary. So we were able to perfect almost all the elites. Um, if you see, we got ice cream very early on, so that solved our energy issues, although we still removed Meteor Strike because we weren't able to consistently play it. We also got Bottled Lightning, which allows us to play a skill card in our opening hand. So that we chose to be Seek, because once it's upgraded, you can pick any two other cards to pick into your hand. So that's definitely more superior. The other relic we got was Bottled Tornado, which allows us to pick a power card into our opening hand. So that we chose Echo Form. I tend to go with Echo Form for that relic. And the reason for that is that together with Buffer, it's very powerful. So one of the reasons we were able to perfect so many elites and bosses was because we played Echo Form and then next turn or even on the same turn we played Buffer. Once upgraded, that will give you four total defense. So that helped us with a lot of the elites. The other relic we picked up was the Incense Burner, which every five turn gives you one turn of intangibility. This proved to be very useful with some elites. Um, we got also very lucky. Sometimes when all of the elites were attacking, like in this turn actually, um, we were fully defended and we didn't have to worry about any sort of defense. The first boss relic we got was the Cursed Key. I picked it for the energy as well as for the possibility of getting the 100 extra points thanks to the Cursed modifier. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get enough Curses, so oh, at the end we only had three. We could have had four if we picked up more aggressively in the first um, floor, but I think overall it would be very hard to actually get five. We also got the Dead Branch, which gave us a random card every time we exhausted another card. So that was a little annoying, but ultimately it didn't really hurt us too much. In the end, we perfected um, 10 out of the 12 possible elites, uh, which was really good. We perfected all of the bosses. But overall, there are a lot of sort of small points here and there that we weren't able to pick up. The second floor boss, we got the Black Star out of. So that gives us two relics every time uh, we defeat an elite. That allowed us to actually get 25 uh, relics total, which was an extra 25 points. Uh, the other relics weren't super impressive. Uh, we didn't really need energy thanks to the ice cream and the cursed key. So overall, I think we did well. Uh, we also had the anchor, which gave us uh, 10 block at the beginning of each turn, which was very handy. Um, overall, our build was an orb build. So we played a lot of electrodynamics and th uh, thunder strikes. So um, I think generally it went relatively well. So the only things that we could have improved is by having a few more of the Highlander modifiers, uh, not Highlander, Collector modifiers, by having more than four of the same cards. Since each Elite dropped only rare cards, that would have definitely been possible. So with that said, I'll pass it on to Past Happier uh, to finish up the game against the Time Eater. Our creative AI, let's do Electrodynamics. Um, then we can do auto shields. Now we're fully defended. And then we can also do uh, creative AI. All right. Okay, so definitely multiple buffers. I like that. So two buffers here. Uh, we have 21 incoming. We have to buffer active, but um, let's try to minimize that somehow. Uh, let's do core search just to get some artifact armor or just artifacts and then all for one go for it. oh I forgot end of the turn 
All right, we are fully defended, but unfortunately we lost our buffer somewhat unnecessarily. I wasn't paying attention to that. That was my bad. Um, so here, let's do Thunderstrike does nine times seven is 63 times two. Yes, let's do it. And then Electrodynamics and then go for the ice. Okay. I think he's gonna do the Persian next turn. Hmm. All right, so here uh, we can just buffer actually. Yeah, let's do it. Buffer for a bunch. And then um, can we get all of his car uh, like all, of can we play six more cards, I guess? Uh, not with this much energy. Yeah, in that case, let's just wait. All right, he's defending. Let's do FTL. And then um, port search. Uh, rainbow. Um, and then I think amplify storm. All right. Okay, so we have 33 incoming. We are fully defended for now, but um, let's try to figure out a good way of avoiding some of that. So we can do Steam Barrier and Leap. Actually, we can do Auto Shields. I should have done the Electric Dynamics first. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. And then uh, Steam Barrier and then Leap. Or full defense, actually. And let's see what Reboot gives us. Um, go for the eyes and um, amplify the machine learning. All right. We play two more cards. This is unfortunate. So let's make sure those we use those cards well. Uh, we have another thirty-three incoming, which we still have full buffer, so that's good. Um, same. Could do another rainbow twice. Let's do it. All right, we are losing two of our buffers, but I think that's fine. We still have a block potion as well as an entropic potion. So Thunderstrike does enough for a kill. I don't even want to calculate that. Um, all right, so let's see what we got. 1300, not as high as I thought. We did perfect everything. So out of 12 elites, we perfected 10? No, oh, we must have not perfected. Oh, yeah, one of that, that weird bug, that, or not bug, like, I, I I thought I saw something different. We did get Beyond Perfect. We didn't get anything else besides I Like Shiny. We just have more than 25 relics. Uh, We, wait. Why didn't we get a collector's bonus for um, Electrodynamics? We have one, two, three. Oh, we only have three. We didn't get a fourth one. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, that's sad. That's another twenty five. Well, so it took us an hour, a little over an hour that that, that lost us some points. Um but yeah, overall, no no not bad. This was not a better one. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.